<laughs> nice! Hello! Welcome to today's taste test. Let me start by saying this is very bittersweet for me. This is the last video I'm filming in this apartment. Yes, I am moving in four days. I will never film in this kitchen again. It's the end of an era. My new apartment is basically like the same size and look as this one. It's just in a safer area. Oh yes, and the cabinets are like black, I think. So that's gonna change up. <laughs> my kitchen backdrop. Me and my bae are so excited, and um, it's just, it's a new start for my videos and for everything. Any Hooters, today I am taste testing Hooters whole appetizer menu. I got every appetizer that was on Uber Eats, like every single one. It was like over $100, <laughs> but I'm so excited. I've only been to Hooters once. Um, it was a couple years back. I don't know if I'm really part of like the demographic, <laughs> for Hooters, you know, I know that anyone can eat there, um, but I feel like a lot of straight guys like to go there, you know, because they're straight. So my gay ass has only been there one time. Um, I got wings and fries, I think, which means I haven't tried any of these, not one of them. So this is all brand new flavors and foods for me in my mouth. And let me just say, everything sounds so delicious. Like the creations that are on this menu have me shook and ready. I got lots of tots, cheese sticks, Tex-Mex nachos, chili cheese fries, buffalo chicken dip, beer cheese and pretzels, fried pickles, onion rings, cheeseburger sliders, original buffalo shrimp, and buffalo chicken sliders. And later on, I'm gonna have a huge serving of diarrhea. It is gonna be quite massive and messy after this menu. Oh my goodness. I'm so pumped, guys. This is all new junk food for me. This is a big moment. I have never done a Hooters taste test on my channel. Isn't that crazy? By the way, if you guys like this video, I will try all of their wing flavors um, in like a part two. So let me know if you want that. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. These are appetizers, not wings. And y'all, they have so many flavors, like literally endless amounts. That could be a whole big taste test on its own. Anyways, let's open these bags up and see everything we got. I want to look at everything, unbox it, have that first impression moment with you. I've gotten a few comments that are like, Timmy, why do you show us all the food and then you eat it later? Like, isn't that like redundant? I do it because this is my channel and I want to. <laughs> And it's fun, I love it. The unboxing process is like my favorite part. I'm all about presentation. If it doesn't look delicious, that's an issue. You know, we gotta talk about it. Let's take a look. Love this iconic styrofoam, you know, to-go packaging. I think it makes everything look delicious. Okay, so, oh my God! The mini cheeseburger sliders come with fries. Wow, what an appetizer. Guys, that's on the appetizer menu. But they gave me like legit a full meal. That is so nice. Okay, what is this? Oh my God, I was like, wait, another another set of burgers? No, these are the chicken sliders, the buffalo chicken sliders. They come with fries as well and a sauce. We love this. Oh, the chili cheese fries. Oh my God. Oh, I think I may have just prolapsed. So just a little bit, you know, shove it back in there. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. These smell incredible. And the portion, this is like the heaviest thing ever. It's so Let's see what this is. What the hell is that? Oh! That's the buffalo chicken dip. I'm gonna be honest, it smells kinda like canned chicken with cheese. I hope it tastes good. I don't know about that one, I'm scared. I think these are the buffalo shrimp. Y'all know I'm not a big um, seafood fan, but shrimp I can handle. They smell really good, not fishy at all. Oh! This is their fried cheese, the mozzarella sticks. Um, I think there's about six of them. I love that they added some shredded Parmesan on top. Love that. And marinella. Mar marinella sauce. I don't know what happened to the packaging, but it got some holes in it. That one is quite wide set. Oh my God. Okay, so these are the chips. These must go with the buffalo chicken dip. Okay, love that. Um, Oh, wow. Those are really dark pretzels. Um, these are the pretzel bites with, with the beer cheese. I'm glad they gave two containers of cheese because this is a whole lot of pretzels. Um, wow, they smell very pretzely, like very fresh. I'm kind of shook by the darkness. Are they burnt? I don't know. Ow, <gasps> ah! There's like a sticky strip in the back like to seal them and it got stuck to my little arm hairs. I'm so hairy, my masculinity is jumping out. I need rings. Those, I think those are onion rings. Why are they so perfect looking? They're like really perfect, like too perfect. 
don't know, we'll see. Very, very cool though. Hip. Okay, last bag. Wow, this is really a massive taste test. I am shook. Okay, so these are the fried pickles. You guys know I love pickles. Anytime, any day of the week. Shove a pickle in me. I'm here for it, you know? They look fried and crispy, and the batter doesn't look too thick. It looks very nice. Now, oh my gosh, here are the lots of tots. I think that's their name. I see bacon, nacho cheese, sour cream, green onions. Looks great. Honestly, so far, the um, portions are great. Like, everything looks really filling and delicious. Okay, guys, last appetizer. Guys, this is gonna be such an iconic video. I'm not ready for all this junk food. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Those look amazing. They have so many toppings. Even fresh jalapeno. Ooh, I can smell the spiciness. Fresh jalapenos, I love the flavor, but they're too spicy for me. Um, usually, I like pickled jalapenos a bit more, but I'm here for this. Um, everything looks great. Of course, I'm going to get my thumbnail, get my close-up shots, and then I'm going to transfer all the food to different plates, do my whole disinfection process, wash my hands, clean the table, and then we are going to start eating. And of course, at the end of the video, I'm going to choose my least favorite items and my favorite items so that y'all know what's good and what's not at Hooters, at least in my opinion. And this is not sponsored by Hooters at all. <laughs> Okay, I am back and ready to eat. I'm so hungry. By the way, side note, I am taking my forks with me, so don't worry. We will still have my beautiful rainbow forks in my videos. They'll still collab with me. <laughs> Let's start with the onion rings. Michael's always in the garden, picking my herbs. He treats me like a queen cuz that's what I deserve. He picks me things like cayenne pepper. So the onion rings were $9.89. Now just to clarify, these are Uber Eats prices. It might be different in person. This is just what I paid for it, okay? $9.89 is way overpriced. I feel like for an appetizer, onion rings should be like $6.99 or less. Um, they came with this sauce, which I disinfected, don't worry. It smells like typical onion ring sauce. It's like that horseradishy kind of zestiness. Love that, okay? Now, like I said before, um, these onion rings look perfect. They look too perfect. Like, they are flawless. I don't understand. I am noticing some smaller ones, too. But I don't know, they just look too round. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, they're too perfect. I mean, I can relate. I'm a little too perfect as well. I don't know. Let's just see. Um, they seem pretty crispy, pretty nice. I'm going to first try them without the sauce. Okay, not crispy anymore. But I'm sure they were crispy. Tastes perfect to me. Um, let's try it with the sauce. Oh, um, that's good. Oh, okay. Wow, that sauce is everything. So, shockingly, there is a real onion in there. Um, some places like Burger King, their onion rings are more of like an onion flavored batter that's just shaped like a ring, but there's no like full onion in it. This has a full onion inside of it. I thought maybe they wouldn't because they're shaped so perfectly. Um, but they do. They taste great. They taste like any onion ring that I've ever had. Um, nothing super special, but they're good. Like, I'm here for them. They're onion rings, you know? Um, this sauce, though, this is one of the best onion ring sauces I've ever had. It's, like, extra tangy and extra bright and refreshing. It's delicious. Let's have one more. Mmm. Mmm. So, I'd have to give this mm, a 7 out of 10. Um, they're great, just not special. Next up let's try there's so many good things to try today guys oh my god let's try the pretzels and beer cheese why not oregano paprika we've got all the kinds oh yeah i'm feeling this fabulous this was ten dollars and 44 cents like i said these look very burnt to me but i don't think they are because they're very soft and plush I think this is just like the natural color. They have little salt crystals from the salt caves. Let's smell this beer cheese. Ooh, it's quite beery. <laughs> it's quite beery! I'm not a big fan of beer. I think it tastes like a straight man's urine. But I do like beer battered things and like beer cheeses, so I think I'll like this. Let's first try the pretzel on its own. Mmm. Wow. That's a perfect... Soft pretzel. Now let's try it with the cheese. Ooh, flayock. Look at that, okay. 
Huh? Oh! Two pounds. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is delicious. I expected something way more dry, way more burnt, way more not worth it. This is worth it. The cheese has such an oniony flavor. It does not taste like beer at all. It smells like it, but it doesn't taste like it. It just tastes like an oniony cheese sauce. If you like onions, I think you'll love this. And it's not because of the green onions. I think there's onion flavors within the sauce itself. And it's delicious. It's so creamy, so cheesy. It goes perfect with the pretzels, the saltiness, everything. 10 out of 10. Next up, let's do the little burger sliders and fries. Michael sees me watching him from the window. The sweat is dripping from his head to his manhole. Michael says, Una, come and get in the dirt. The cheeseburger sliders were $11.87. I think that is a pretty fair price. This is a full meal, and that's how much a sit-down meal costs at any sit-down uh, restaurant, you know? So, I think that's great. What I love is that the burgers have toppings. Usually, burgers come plain, like just cheese and meat. But these sliders have mustard, cheese, and a pickle. I love mustard. I love pickles. My kind of toppings. The meat patties, by the way, are very small, but they are thick. Let's first try the fries. Oh, hmm. I reheated them, but they still have that cold texture. That's not their fault. I would say those are normal. Oh my God, it's going down weird. I would say those fries are just normal, basic. They could use some salt, could use some seasonings. They're just plain, plain fries. They're not bad, they're just plain. So I'd give those a six out of 10. If you want just like a basic bitch fry, that's it. This is for you. Let's try these little burgers. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Mmm. Wow. They're good. Um, the patty really tastes like a backyard barbecue patty. It tastes like a patty that your friend's dad made back in the day on the 4th of July. <laughs> so it's great. I don't mind it. It tastes good. I like those kind of like homemade tasting patties. The pickle tastes great. Mustard tastes nice and tangy. It doesn't really need anything because it has toppings. Um, I'm here for this. I think it's great. It's a nice 8 out of 10. I like it, but it's simple. So just expect that if you get it, okay? Next up, let's try... Let's do the buffalo chicken dip. I tell him, Michael, stop. I'm cooking dessert. Now you may be wondering, where on earth is Michael? Michael, he's in the garden picking my herb. Okay, guys, so this <laughs> got kind of messy. I put all the dip on top of it, and then when I took it out of the container, it just flipped everywhere and it was a mess. The buffalo chicken dip is $10.55. Um, okay. I mean, it is like a big blob of chicken in a cup, you know? I'm very curious to see how it tastes. Um, I've had different buffalo chicken dips in the past, but I've never had this one, so let's see. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh my God. To be honest, it smelled bad. It did not smell good. It smelled like canned chicken. It smelled kind of icky, kind of sweet and weird. But the flavor, when you eat it, I'm chowing. It's so good. Oh my God. It is very buffalo-ish, but it's also very refreshing because of like the sour creamy, che cream cheesiness, you know? Very salty, but not too salty. Oh my god, and like the chicken, um, it just kind of like blends into the sauce, so it's almost like a paste, but with like chicken shreds in it. Very good. Delicious. 10 out of 10. I'm shook that it's this good. It looks kind of disgusting. It looks like vomit. Next up, let's try the mozzarella sticks. He's in the garden picking my herbs. Michael's in the garden picking all of my fresh herbs. He's in the backyard picking my weeds. He's in the backyard picking my weeds. Now I feel like these need to be like very hot. So I'm gonna heat them up again. Guys, this is my last twerk on camera in this house. Wait. Okay. These are hot enough. The cheese sticks were $8.02. Now, mozzarella sticks are always pricey. It's just how it is. Um, but I do feel like anything over a dollar per stick is too much. We have six sticks here. It was $8. I feel like I should have gotten eight mozzarella sticks. But then again, it might be cheaper in person. So, so I'm just going to try this first by itself and then dip into the sauce. Delicious. Pleasant. 
Okay. Hmm. This is good, but it tastes like a frozen mozzarella stick. It does not taste like a fresh one. By any means, it tastes very processed. Now, do I like processed mozzarella sticks? Yes, I do. Not as much as a fresh one, but they still taste great to me. I love all the frozen brands. So I'm fine with this. Just know if you buy it, it tastes processed. It might not be, who knows? But just in my opinion, it tastes processed. Let's try it with the melanel. Melanel Mmm. That is yummy. This is great marinara. Very flavorful, not watery. Um, thick, and it, it, it sticks to the mozzarella stick. Overall, it's a nice 8 out of 10. It would have been probably 6 without the sauce, because these are like processed. But the sauce really elevates it. Okay, next up, let's try the chili cheese fries, guys. Ah! Michael's in the backyard picking all of my dry weeds. Wow, this is great. Love this for me. They were only $7.47. That's an amazing price for that huge plate of chili cheese fries. That is so filling. That is a deal. <laughs> okay. So I think it's interesting to note that this has pickled jalapenos on it, but the nachos have fresh ones. That's very interesting. I prefer pickled. How fancy of them to, you know, switch up their jalapeno variations. This chili has beans in it a lot of beans we love that i see kidney beans it has ground beef um there's a lot of cheese like nacho cheese sauce i don't see any shredded cheese but i prefer nacho cheese sauce um to shredded i'm a trashy bitch what can i say i want to get everything in one bite give me a jalapeno here we go hmm um, I'm not as wild as I thought I would be. First of all, the jalapenos are real hot. Like, whoop! The chili could have more flavor. It's quite, I don't know, underwhelming. It's not bad. It tastes like chili, just really basic chili. Some bland chili, wow. You know, the beans taste weird. The beans have a very earthy taste to them. Very earthy. Kind of like dirt and grime. I don't know. I do not like those beans. The nacho cheese? Fine. It tastes decent all together, but it's just like not, I've, mm, I've had much better chili fries. Like even at like Wendy's there, a chili cheese fries are 10 times better. So this is a two out of 10. I'm shocked. I really love chili cheese fries. That is quite the disappointment. Okay, next up, let's try the Buffalo chicken sliders. Now you may be wondering, where on earth is Michael? Michael, he's in the front yard trimming my bush. He's in the front yard trimming my bush. The buffalo chicken sliders are $11.87, same price as the cheeseburger sliders. Once again, it just comes with tons of food. We love that. Um, and some ranch. I think I chose ranch. That is ranch. Oh, and now it's a restaurant ranch. I can smell it from here. Now with these sandwiches, you um, get to choose a hot sauce. Um, there were so many, like 911, all these different ones, like a huge amount. Um, I just chose medium just to keep it simple. And so the sauce is on there, as you can see. Um, we have a pickle and that's it. Okay. Let's first try it by itself and then dipped into the ranch. It's kind of like a chicken tender in there. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, let's try it with the ranch. Mmm. Oh! Oh, I want to kiss you. Mmm. This ranch could literally make anything taste good. Wow, that is incredible. The perfect restaurant ranch. This is like everything. Hooters Ranch. Oh my gosh, I'm here for this. The sliders are okay. Um, the chicken tender itself is great. The sauce didn't really come through. Maybe um, you can pick like a stronger sauce. Um, if you like really want these, um, the bun does kind of take over like all the flavors. You just taste a lot of bun. It's very thick and dense, um, but the pickle's nice and refreshing. But by itself, it's just kind of mediocre, like like a really basic chicken sandwich with a lot of bread. So I'd give this a six out of ten, but with the ranch, ten out of ten. This ranch, oh, liquid gold. We only have four items left. We have the tots. We have the buffalo shrimp the fried dill pickles, and the nachos. Let's do the buffalo shrimp, why not? 
Michael rubbed his sunscreen on to his thighs. His wrinkles are a gift from God to my eyes. Michael tells me Una Queen. Okay, so these little shrimpies were $10.99. And this is another uh, menu item where you get to choose your preferred hot sauce. Um, I chose medium once again because I was like, let's just keep it simple so I can really taste the flavor, you know? These are pretty coated in the sauce. They are fried. Um, they have a breading on them. So let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I mean, for being shrimp, they're good. <laughs> they have good flavor. They're not fishy at all. Just have that shrimpy texture. The breading really soaked the sauce up, so it has a lot of flavor. It just tastes like hot sauce on a shrimp. So if you like that, I think you'll like this. <laughs> I'd say 7 out of 10. Not bad for shrimp. Next up, let's do the nachos because they're already super soggy. Now, I don't mind soggy nachos, but I know that a lot of you guys do. So let's try them out. Michael's in the front yard trimming my big hairy bush. He's in the greenhouse watering plants. He's in the greenhouse watering plants. Michael's in the greenhouse dripping on all of the Tex Mex nachos were eleven dollars. Um, they have the chili on them that I didn't like from the chili cheese fries. It might work better on chips. I don't know, but it just tasted so earthy. We have some guacamole, some sour cream, some pico de gallo, a lot of lettuce, nacho cheese. Um, I want to try a chip that has everything on it. I'm gonna try to get some chili in there too. Okay, we have everything. Ah, ah, ah. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. 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 Mm -mm. The chili works so much better on this than on the fries. For some reason, it tastes really good on this. I think it's like the sour cream, the guacamole, everything with it, and with the tortilla chips. So good. Now, I'm not gonna say these are like authentic nachos. They're not. They're trashy, white trash nachos, okay? But they're still delicious, just like very processed, you know, not like real cheese and all that, but they're good. I like them. So I'd give them a nice nine out of 10. We have two more items, the tots. Oh, I'm so full. And the dilled pickle chips. Let's do. Let's do the tots. Oregano, thyme, turmeric, parsley, fennel, cumin, dill, rosemary. Now, lots of tots are $7.36. Um, very similarly priced to the chili cheese fries. Now, the sour cream is kind of like, I don't know if it's curdled or what, but it's just kind of become like a whip. I don't know. <laughs> very interesting. Um, I see uh, nacho cheese, bacon. Um, green onions. I love tater tots. I could eat them every day of my life. I'm not joking. They're everything. So let's see how this tastes. Oh, it's everything I wanted. Shalili Bubata. This bacon is real and crispy as hell. Mmm. Wow. Um,. This is amazing. The tots are so good. The bacon is so real, so crispy. The nacho cheese works so well with the tots. Oh, so trashy. If you love like greasiness and junk food and you know, <laughs> everything good in life, you'll love this. I can't stop. I'm so full, but I can't stop, bitch. Okay, last but not least, don't pick old chips. Oh, yes. My Oregano, plan. thyme, turmeric, parsley, fennel, cumin, dill, rosemary. Okay, so the pickle chips were fried pickles were $7.58. I think that's a typical appetizer price. I think that's pretty fair. I mean, there's a lot of pickles on this plate. That's a different sauce. Kind of relishy. I don't know what that is. Wow. Okay, let's first try a pickle by itself and then with the sauce. Salty, too salty. Honestly, way too salty. I thought they taste a lot better than this. Let's try another one with the sauce. That sauce is weird. It's like a relish, a like mayonnaise relish something. <laughs> like I said, too salty. I don't know, I just don't like it. It tastes weird. Everything about it tastes weird. The sauce, this, 
No. That's a four out of ten, okay? I tried everything! Oh, goodbye, house. It is time to pick my three least favorite items and my three favorite items, okay? So, least favorite items, for sure, the chili cheese fries. Shockingly, I did not like them at all. Definitely the dill pickle chips, not a fan. And, ooh, everything else was pretty good. I think the um, chicken sliders, they weren't bad, they were just kind of like plain. Now my top three favorites. Um, I really love the buffalo chicken dip. So good, so that's third place. And then I think the pretzels with the beer cheese. Ooh, so good. And first place has to go to the lots of tots. They were so good. Oh my God, I could not stop eating them. Incredible. So that was my Hooters taste test. Everyone say goodbye to this kitchen because I'm never filming in here again. One last high note in this kitchen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched this whole video, leave a comment that says, what an appetizer finale kitchen moment. I'll see you on the next video. I love you so much. Ooh, boo, boo.